Well, welcome back to Ketchikan Alaska News. Today we're going to do a little update on the uh, COVID-19 situation here in Ketchikan. I first want to introduce you to my cameraman and technical assistant. Um, uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Bridger. Bridger uh, Jackson, and he's going to be helping by holding the camera. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Hold it steady. One little bit of information I've researched online and take it for what it's worth, but I would tend to agree with it that the Chinese have studied the transmissibility of this virus and what they are discovering is that 80% of the cases were transmitted via asymptomatic people. Think about that. People that were not showing any signs of being sick. They are 80% of the transmissions came from those contacts. So keep that in mind. Also, as far as the staff at the borough that was in the room with the person that's tested positive, they are all on quarantine at home. So um, just keep in mind, most anyone could have it and act accordingly. Um, take this stay at home, quarantine, self-isolate, um, guidance serious you got to hold it towards me there we go so uh, I'm sure you guys all have some questions regarding um, you know what's going on at the management level uh, as I've said before there's a, a, a emergency operation committee and there's a unified command on that is Abner Hoag who's a borough City Emergency Manager, Corey Padron, who's a Saxman Emergency Manager, and Jennifer Bergen, who's a public health nurse. And it's a sick by coronavirus. Okay, you gotta and hold it steady. It catch a cat. Yeah, and there's one person that's been sick. Thank you, sir. So then um, they've created what they call an incident command. Uh, and that team is uh, headed by Abner Hoag, the deputy assistant. Incident commander is Corey Padron. Safety officer is Jason Alderson. The public information officer is Casey Paxton. The deputy public information officer is Andrew Buchanan. The planning section chief is Dave Owings. The financial section chief is Bob Newell. The logistics section chief is Steve Rydeen. And the operations section chief is Sherry Dunley. So that is kind of who's running the kind of show when it comes to the emergency response here in Ketchikan. So here's some updates from the press release from yesterday the 18th. Today is March 19th. Um, testing is available based on the CDC, Center for Disease Control, testing guidelines. If you don't have certain criteria, they're just not going to test you. Um, your provider will provide the culture, uh, getting a culture from you, and that test then is sent to the state lab. Um, a lot of people are curious, why are, is the, are people still being allowed to come to town? Well, there is no guidance to shut down or even um, monitor incoming traffic at the airport. Um, so that's not happening. So there are a lot of concerns regarding people going to uh, the hospital to get tested, get a swab, and then have it. that then may possibly take a person, a, a sick person, into the hospital or the clinics at the hospital. So what's being done, I know, at other locales around the country is they've cr created a drive-up testing. You call ahead, you say, okay, I'm going to come in. Somebody meets you in a parking lot essentially does the sample gets a sample from you and that you therefore never come into the health care facility uh, I think this is not in play in Ketchikan yet but probably um, in my humble opinion should be um, there's some, um, you can find this brief at the uh, um, under the EOC uh, or the borough emergency um, site if you go to the borough page, you'll see a, a red link on the top, and you can get this all this written information. So that's my update for today. Uh, I know it's not that exciting to talk to me, but um, that's I don't. I'm trying to be responsible, 
As much as I'd like to go out and talk to people, I'm not going to. So hope they have found that informative.